but also give the uh, people a time to come in. Okay, right, here we go. Uh, we are uh, going to be talking about the multiple moving average chart setup into in this week's educational webinar. Uh, um, and my name is Alex Deploy from Expert Forex. Um, if you do have any questions, comments, remarks, anything like that, please send them through and that will help guide me as to uh, what areas to emphasize and uh, pay attention to. Okay, so let's let's talk about these uh, multiple moving average uh, charts uh, and uh, how uh, uh, I started using these is that um, about 12 years ago, uh, um, I started developing an interest in forex trading, and did a few courses and things like that. And uh, none of the co the courses were just introductory ones at that at that stage. Um, and I decided I, I'm going to do forex trading for the rest of my life. At that point, uh, I uh, in those days there were no mini accounts or. or um, uh, whatever many uh, micro accounts they were only main accounts so um, it, it, we were all trading main account blocks at that point so um, uh, 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 it was uh, the, the, the money was tight in from the point of view that the South African rand had absolutely no value and uh, we were trading US dollars at that stage and uh, so uh, we, we couldn't really trade big stops and 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 uh, afford big stops that you do need when you trade. Let's say the one hour, or the four hour charts. You actually need huge stops. Uh, we only uh, could trade like fifteen pip stops and things like that. So we uh, we, we focused on short term uh, um, scalping. And when I say we, it was my wife and I. Um, she's uh, pretty sh pretty sharp on on forex trading herself, and. Um, we, we developed a, a few multi, uh, moving average techniques and, and in that process we said now uh, which moving average is the most effective and um, what we then did is we put a number of moving averages on the same chart and, and, uh, and to, to find which setting in fact was the most eff effective and by the way that's the way you work out what settings to use for indicators you just put a whole lot of them on and, and see which one's the best. Uh, so, so we did that and then we looked at it and we said gee you know these multiple moving average charts are pretty good uh, you know they they actually show quite a lot of information and that's how we got stuck on this on, on these on these particular type of charts now uh, what you're looking at here at the moment are the daily charts um, and we definitely didn't trade those so uh, I'm just going to show you um, I'm going to show you the uh, the one minute charts so here are the one minute charts and unfortunately uh, it was such a pity I was watching this uh, before the webinar and uh, there the break has in fact happened uh, but, but this is, these are the kind of things that you can um, uh, that you can use uh, and we used to scalp the uh, one minute charts uh, using these these um, multiple moving average uh, setups because they showed us what was going on we could actually see um, what was going on in, in the in the market and uh, you can definitely see that's a trend and it's an ongoing trend that's a trend that's that's starting to reverse that's a trend that's sort of thinking of reversing that one's reverse it's sort of also thinking of reversing but maybe a bit stronger that one's uh, bouncing a little bit so so you can see immediately and here's a trade happening right now um, uh, you can see a, a, a uh, a trend line violation happening and, and, and uh, one of the things you could think of doing at this point is selling at that point. Uh, so so um, so that's what the, that's the type of thing we did because we did, uh, using these charts you don't need big stops because you could have like for instance this this transaction here I'm not sure that this is quite a trendy market so but um, you could just put your stop over there you know uh, 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 and that's not a, a quite a, not such a big stop. So, um, so, so uh, especially on the one minute and the five minute charts. So, um, so, so that's how this uh, little methodology worked, and it, and it worked very well because it gave us 
uh, some really high probability trades, but also ones with small stops. So we could have small stops and big targets, and uh, that's what it's all about, isn't it? I see we've got a very quiet uh, bunch in the room today. Uh, please don't be shy to ask any questions or comments. But okay, so so, so that's a bit of history. That's where where it comes from. That's where this system comes from and subsequently a, a number of people have uh, sort of um, also noticed these moving averages uh, and uh, but, but the main reason is because they actually show what's going on you can actually see the sentiment of the market in the, these charts so let's go to the um, back to the um, and I'll go to the weekly charts and 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 it's quite easy to see the sentiments. Uh, the euro, for instance, with all the moving averages pointing up, is definitely still in a trending mode on the weekly chart. The Oz is definitely consolidating. I mean, you know, you, uh, uh, um, it's, it's very easy to see that. The, 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 the pound was consolidating. It made a really nice, what I call a knot, and is now breaking out of that knot. And what you would have done is you would have straddled uh, you would have straddled the triangle and taken the breakout. You don't need to know the direction. You just straddle, straddle it. Same thing here on the yen. The yen is definitely still uh, 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 um, trending. Uh, the, the, the CAD is trying to break out. It, it has, in fact, if you see where the price level is now, it has broken out of that. Now, those knots are basically what we traded. When the price knots like that, you know that it's building up. Uh, it's, it's like an elastic band, you know, it, uh, it, it's building up um, energy. Uh, the minute it knots like it's building up and it's going to burst, and, and then you get this this beautiful burst. Uh, we used to call it, uh, uh, well, when it goes down, we used to call it a waterfall. Um, so, um, uh, 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 so, so you get this burst out of these knots, and there's, there's a knot. And it's burst out of that. So you can see very clearly what phase the market is in and uh, a trade accordingly. Now, that was the weekly chart. If you go to the daily, you'll see the same kind of story um, trending upwards, trending upwards, uh, trending downwards. But you see, those, are, those greens are pointing up. That one's starting to flatten off, so there, there's already a sign that it might be, and this one's starting to point up. So there, it's it's trending, but it's it's ready to make either a correction or a reversal. So so you can read a lot of stories into these particular, uh, and you can also draw trend lines and things like that. So the, there's the channel; it's broken out of it, and it's actually gone a long way if you look on the actual charts. Yeah, but what we do is we block out the actual charts. If you look at the the um, um, actual charts, and I'll just put put them on on uh, I'll put the bars onto uh, just a light grey. If you if if you see the underlying uh, movement, it becomes a little bit distracting. So what we do is we block it out and make it the make the chart. But there, there there's the actual. The price movement there there we are now done the gray and you can see the actual movement but I prefer um, not uh, so, so I would make that white I, I don't like seeing the price because I want to see the uh, underlying momentum and action that's taking place so there we go so um, boom 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 where else uh, here's a messy you can see this is messy compared to the others this is the Oz but there is a, a form of of um, structuring that this is a this is a, a channel and it looks like it might bounce there it's, that one's starting to curl a little bit but not not enough but it's a, it's a bit of a mess the Oz is a little bit messy at the moment not as as structured as the others all right, so um, I'm going to just go to the four hour. Just I'm I'm trying to give you ideas of of how to um, to read these charts. Um, again, when it's trending, it's easy, but but when you get a leveling off of the green or a turning around, when it hooks, well, let's see if we can see a hook here. I think we I think the previous uh, charts showed a hook. No hooks. No. There's a, there's a sort of a hook. But when it's, it's flattening off or hooking, it's it's saying that I'm ready to um, 
I'm running out of momentum. I'm ready to fall over. That one not quite. But it, it, you, uh, I think you've got to admit these these charts do give you a very strong uh, 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 signals. Um, when the green hooks back and starts cutting over the others, then that's definitely a reversal a signal. Um, when it um, when it cuts over but is flat, like there it's flat, there, there it's sharp, it's flat, it, it, it will tend to uh, reverse. Uh, so, so that little green line is quite an important one. The angle at which it cuts across is, is important because it shows the strength of the momentum of, of, of the move. So that's also a very handy one. And then what it also sometimes does is it cuts across hits the second or third one and then starts coming back. Now, that's, that's a continuation uh, uh, um, signal and uh, we trade it that way. So, uh, so when, it, when, it's, when it comes back and comes out of the, the consolidation there, then that's a continuation. Like there, uh, that, that's a continuation. So, so there's a lot of little um, signals that you can see in, in this particular uh, set up the charts, they confirm, we, we, we don't trade them directly, uh, but they do certainly confirm uh, uh, our, our sentiments. So uh, if, if the currency is trending, for instance, then we look for um, excuses to enter the, 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 the trend using conventional charts, you know, um, let's have a look at the conventional, there's a conventional chart, we would then look for conventional signals. Uh, RSI, trend line violations, moving average crossovers, all those kind of more conventional signals to get into the particular uh, moves. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, um, uh, I think I've covered uh, most of the, um, it's, it's a very simple, the, the, the thing, if you look at our trading charts and, and, and our, um, our philosophies and things, it's, it's, it's very simple and, and uh, the, as I say, this is must probably 11 years old. We've been trading this for 11 years old. Haven't changed it one little bit. So when something works, um, uh, uh, then we just stick to it. It's simple. It gives us what we want, and it's been very really nice trading it. So uh, and the, and the same thing here. Very simple. We've only got the RSI, the moving average, and the, and um, that's about it, and trend lines, that, 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 that's all that we need to trade those. Okay, so let's go and have a look at the um, the website. Uh, I've, I think I've covered that when they're all pointing in, in one direction, they're trending. When the, when the uh, green starts leveling off, then it's losing momentum and it will lead to consolidation. When it hooks back very strongly, then obviously it's reversing. And uh, and what you need to watch out is when they start knotting, when they all start making one color um, and are very tight together, then that's when these explosive moves occur. Um, and there you can see it again, all pointing in the same direction. Um, and all you have to do when they knot like that is straddle them. You don't know. You don't need to know the direction of the of the move. You all you do is you straddle the knot, and 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 that's what, how we manage to survive um, uh, with uh, limited capital, uh, training a main account using very small stops. That, that that that's this is the method that we that that we manage to uh, survive on. Uh, or, get started in, in, and then as I've mentioned, when the green cuts over quite strongly uh, at a sharp angle, then it's, then a, a reversal is more likely. If it cuts over at a shallow uh, uh, angle, momentum uh, um, consolidation is more likely. And when it cuts into the other ones and then comes out again, that's a continuation uh, uh, pattern. Um, and then uh, it's used in conjunction with uh, with trend lines to either straddle or or, or draw a trend line under support and then when it breaks out of support you just trade it. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, let's have a look. Um, no questions. That was a nice quick webinar. Um, I hope I've been perfectly clear. I can see a, a lot of people are relying on the recording. I, they, they're actually listening to me and not watching me. I can, uh, the, the software can actually tell whether you are or not. And, um, and uh, yes, yeah, so from me, Alex Deploy, thank you very much for your uh, attention and good trading. Oh, oh, I must mention that uh, we will make these um, um, 
profiles uh, available and the template on how you set up this the multimodal moving area. If you you can do it yourself, quite honestly, you know, if you've got the experience, you can actually do it yourself. But if you uh, if you need assistance, you can purchase for a nominal fifteen dollars. That's you know that's just really um, uh, a nominal amount to uh, get these two profiles, which the profiles compare uh, the weekly, daily, four hour, one hour for a currency and then the other profile is to compare all the currencies of a particular time frame. Um, when you get the profiles you can actually change all of this stuff. Uh, you know, if, uh, you can change this to daily for our, you know, whatever you want to change that to. Right, so for me again, uh, Alex Boy, thank you for uh, listening and cheerio.